morning and welcome to today's video. Today I'm setting out on a 200k permanent called Bedrock. It goes over Mount Nebo, down into Samford, Redcliffe via Deception Bay, Old Bay Road, into Debra, uh, back through Fernie Grove. Apart from the final control, there's only three controls. So those three controls are located at the Caltech service station in Sanford, Kippering, and Launton. So I've got the route loaded on my Garmin, but I always like to have a mental image of where I'm going so I don't have to think about it too much. So the aim for me is just to keep moving, um, perhaps a little bit unconventionally. I'm using a hydration system. Um, I've got a few gels in there. Today is going to be about 33 degrees. So I think this will really help um, keep the total elapsed time down. I don't want to spend too much time out in the sun, um, fully you know, 50 plus sunscreen on all over, um, but it still gets really hot out there. I'll give you some views from the ride and uh, check in with you again at each of those control points. So, peace. Yeah, it's quite a brutal way to start 200 k's straight up Mount Nebo. <laughs> this is what I'm waking up to. Normally I'd stop here to take a few photos, but I'm on a bit of a mission. Yeah, so this is where I turn and make the descent into Sanford. I'm going to switch mounts, so capture some of the descent. It's coming off Mount Gloria, it's down Pay Road into Sanford. It's hellishly steep. Um, all the way across the top of Mount Nebo, Mount Glorious, you can see uh, bits of rubber and gouges in the see bits of rubber and gouges in the concrete where motorcycles have taken it too hard around some of the bends and lost control and slid off the edge of the road. So uh, I'm going to be taking it easy. I just passed through Sanford, got the lady at the counter of the Caltex to sign my card, filled up one bottle of water, and straight back on the bike. Next stop is Clear Mountain. When I say next stop, I mean I'm not stopping. <laughs> the next. That was an 18% ramp, followed by a slight levelling off to 
and then another ramp at 15% for a little over a K. Just about to hit another incline at 17%. Uh, put this away now. <laughs> So maybe I should stop and just give you an idea of the elevation and the view from up here. It's fantastic. That was, that was rather steep in parts. And behind me you see the city skyline. That's where I came from. That's where I'm going. The next stop, the next control point is Kipper Ring. Still ahead on time, so that's a good thing. It's probably all downhill from here to Kippering. So. <laughs> well I just got a flat, probably doing 50k's front wheel flat, so glad it, it wasn't when I was hitting the max speed earlier, of around 80k's. Well, time to get back on the road I guess. Well I'm at the uh, Kippering Caltex, this is about the halfway point, just drank two cokes. <laughs> litre and a half of water. Put another litre and a half in my backpack and fill my bottle and not feeling fresh because um, had to push it into a headwind. Should be a little bit cooler towards the coast. I'm gonna head along um, Red Cliff, Sean Cliff and then Sandgate and then head into Launton from there back into Petrie over to Dabra. Launton is the next control point, again another Caltech service station. It was nice to stop at Kippering and get uh, my gear organised and rearranged stuff in my pocket. Headwind, there's a sea breeze and pretty soon when I turn right to head south I'll get a cross tailwind. Nice flat road, tailwind, heaps of red lights. Caltex launch in the last control point before the end of the ride. So I know the way home from here. I'm just going to head down there and go for it. One. Yeah, you can see how dry it is. It's hot. I don't know how hot it is. The maximum was forecast to be 33, 34. But I tell you, it's much hotter than that right now. So I'll be coming into Debra. I'm going to take a quick break and fill up the water bottles. But um, yeah, just generally keep rolling. I've got enough gels and bars and stuff like that to last me. Uh, less than 60 k's to get home, I think. Or more like 50. So here we go. So just uh, swimming through Debra at the moment. I um, filled up my water bottle at the place where I normally fill up and the lady in the little antique shop chased me away and said, yeah, there's cold water in the fridge at the cafe. I just said thank you. Took the tap water. Well, 
almost there. Under the um, the Sanford Ferny Grove Rail Trail now. I don't want to stop. <laughs> I don't want to stop. It's too hot to stop. <laughs> I also don't want to look at my Garmin. It's too glary to start with. And it doesn't make any difference at this stage. I just ride the pace that I am right now. And I'll get home probably under nine hours. I don't want to jinx myself, but I'm almost there. Well, that was pretty extreme. The road was melting in some parts out there, so yeah, sorry I didn't stop and take more scenic photos, but I just felt that I had to get out of get out of the sun and off the road really. That yeah, it was on a bit of a mission actually. I wanted to finish the 200 k's in under nine hours, and I managed to do that. So nine hours total elapsed time, 200 and 204 k's, and 3,000 and. 27 meters of elevation, I think. Seven hours and 45 minutes uh, moving time. It's pretty cooked. <laughs> you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like it, subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I post again. So thanks very much for, for watching and I'll see you out there on the road. Peace.